Well, hello, man cavers, and look what we have here. If you've seen the short, you've seen this. I literally saved it from the scrap man. Let me tell you all about this. Welcome to the man cave. Let the games begin. So, man cavers, here we are with our saved from the scrap man. And I literally mean saved from the scrap man. No exaggeration here. It is Monday. I got up this morning and I thought, ah, got back from Strumshaw, so we'll be all right. And I get a text message. Can you ring David, the scrap man? He's got something you might like. So I thought, well, what's this? So I got on the phone. He said, oh, I've got an old engine. Come out the scrap. I had to clear an old boy's shed. He says, and he was a bit sorry to see it go, but apparently he's an elderly gent and not got too long to go. And his family were clearing his, clearing his shed out, sadly, before he'd gone. And he was a bit sad to see everything in the shed get chucked in the back of a transit tipper. This included, but the man with the transit tipper, David, he come get my scrap, he rang me, got an old engine, know nothing about it. Do you want it? I'll come have a look. So, within half an hour, I got to his house, and I was most surprised to be greeted with this. A Norman T300 generator. Now then, I don't think the generator set on it is original, but I don't care. The engine most certainly is. I've never had a Norman before. I've always fancied one, if I'm honest, but I've never had one. Now we have one. Looks like army spec, because it's got army plugs, shielded leads. Has it got a spark to it run? I don't know. All he said was, I went in the shed. There was a load of stuff in there, including this. This was covered up with a sheet. There you go. The sheet got whipped off. It got tossed in the back of a transit tipper to go to the scrapyard. But he decided, now nah, I shan't scrap it. I'll give Adam a ring. This is our generating unit we got on it. That don't look particularly original. It's coupled up in there. I mean, I don't think the generator is original army at all. The petrol tank certainly isn't. That's off an Atco lawnmower. But I do like them little bullet tanks anyhow. So that can stay. In fact, if it runs, the whole thing can stay. This is one hell of a generator. Is it 12 volt? Is it 240? Wouldn't have a clue. I know we put a battery on these. And I don't know. But we've got a hell of a gauge in here. What? Well, Spin all the way around. Look at this bad boy. So, yeah. And a handle. And uh, either a reset or an electric start button. Wouldn't have a clue. Is that dino start, do you reckon? I don't know. Or is that just a reset? Anyway, guys. I think we need to do our normal thing. It is cobwebby everywhere. There you go. We have cobwebbage. Leaves. There was a bucket. He picked a white bucket up. Which had a couple of spare magnetos in there. And a couple of fuel bowls. And a couple of starting handles. And one of them was the starting handle for this. Ha <laughs> ha. Even better. Right. I'm going to do something I have never ever done before. And that is take a military style spark plug out. <sighs> to clean it and see if we've got a spark. Now then, normally, when I've had these, or engines like this with shielded leads, the shielded leads have always been disintegrated or broken. I can't help thinking this engine was put away as a runner. He probably showed it years ago. Don't know. But I'm guessing if it was in a shed covered up with a sheet, then it's probably been put away a runner and sat for a number of years so i don't know so what we're going to try and do 
clean these points up. Take one of these, well, take both these plugs out. I'll do this one first because that's easier to get to. Then I can spin the engine around. We'll take one of these to pieces. I have no clue how they come to bits. I think, I think there's a porcelain on here with probably a spring which pushes on to another porcelain here. And there's obviously some form of electrode like a spark plug in there. But I'm guessing this centre comes out of this piece. So it's like an old pink lodge plug. You can take them all to pieces to clean them. So we're going to try and keep these original military plugs in and the shielded leads and hope that don't arc and spark everywhere. If it sparks at all, don't know. Let me stop waffling. Get you back in the camera. We'll get them out and give them a clean. Ah! 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 I have selection of tools, channel lock pliers, and two Whitworth adjustables. <laughs> right, ah, yes, I'm on the floor, simply because I ain't going to lug this thing up onto a bench. Now, I think what we have to do is I think this end come out. I don't want to twist this lead up. Oh. And is it going to run? That's undoing the whole thing. So let's hold this, I think. I've never had one of these to bits, but being military, I'm guessing it's all going to come to bits for maintenance. Oh, ah. Now, will that unscrew? Oh, it does look. Right, this unscrewed. Do I spring it? Nope, there's a porcelain piece there. Right, okay. I take it this piece here ah right that's loose Whew. oh there you go this is coming out so what do we got here ah right okay I see there is if we can see here there is a twin electrode plug so let me pop the other one of these out because we're running out of daylight and we can go in the bench and see if strip these to bits and give them a clean I'm gonna yeah it's got good copper washers let me pop this other side out I like the trolley the gent got it on can you see this side or am I miles out no look at that that's all spun round and you can see as long as my fat elbow went in the way Will this side undo as easy as the other side? It does, look at that. Yeah, there's a lot of... You know, that's still shiny metal on the end. There's some rubber insulation crazed and brought. I'm not going to bend them leads about too much. Because if I can keep the original leads on here... Because I'm assuming... So we'll crack that one off. Let's take the big one out. Ah, it's coming. There we go. There we go. There's no copper washer on this one, look. No. There's no copper washer on this. And this one is a bit sooty. So let's get these on the bank. Oh, that one's got rusty, look. I wonder if this, this other cylinder got had a bit of water in it. We might need to do our squirt some oil down. Can't see how, though, because the exhausts come down, so... I wouldn't have thought there'd be water in there. That is a bit rusty, though, isn't it? But if it's kept in a shed, why? Right. I'll tell you what, for shits and giggles, while we've got some bad light, <laughs> let's balance this on here. Now we've got no compression. And just turn this thing over and see if we've got a spark. Very much doubt it. How are we going to do this? Let me see if I can nip this somewhere. So we can get a... Ah, right. I think we've got a half decent gap in there. Let me buzz and get the handle. Excuse my mint film skills. But let me go and get the handle and see if we've got a spark. Right, I have the handle. 
Look at the handle. The handle's had some stick look. You see that? She's a little bit split. <laughs> well, there you go. Right, I haven't cleaned the points. So we're just going to give her a little way up there. I was touching the flywheel when I didn't twig that. Right. Uh, how are we going to do this? Oh, I don't want to give that spark plug lead too much stick. Oh, the ends come out, look. Okay, that obviously just pushes in there then. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. Alright, I can't hear any clicking. Indicating any sort of spark. It could be this lead is all knackered up this end. But we'll see what has happened to my camera. She's not zooming very well. Let's give these points a quick clean. We have points in that end. We have some points in here, look. Okay, we are fast running out of daylight. But I don't care, it's been too damned hot today, guys, so I'm quite pleased to be in the shade. Alright, let's give these points a clean. As usual, we've got my old friend, the nail file in here. But I've said it a hundred times, these things are brilliant for cleaning points. The old lady's nail file. There we go. Let's have a look. Well, that are cleaning. Yeah, I can feel them. I can feel them having a nice little bite and a clean. In we go. I have checked the oil level on this, by the way, and it is up to the top of the dipstick. So we do have good oil level. And it has compression as well. I will shove a little bit of oil down them plug holes and give it a whirl over. Just to get some lubrication on that cylinder. Right. Let's just have a quick look. I mean, you should hear, if you can't see, you'll hear a clicking. Let's just see. We'll leave this cover off in case the earth's going. Well, we can't see nothing here. I'm not convinced of these old leads, you know. I really aren't. But we'll see, won't we? If not, we'll have to swap them out for standard HT leads again, like we did on the Douglas. But I would like to keep these military plugs if I could. Well, you aren't going to be able to see nothing, but I can see them from around here. I can't hear a click, so I don't think we've got a spark. No. We have nothing. Let me hold this damn thing with a pair of insulated pliers. Because there could be sparks jumping off this shield and anywhere. It could just be going down to earth, we don't know. Damn lead is nearly out of here. What holds that in the end of this? 
I think they're crimped in if I remember how the Douglas ones were. Maybe this is not making a good enough contact in there. Maybe it's all knackered in that end. I've got him wedged in there as hard as he'll go. a case of having to um let's try this one which seems oh this one's a lot better fell yeah this one does seem a lot better let's hold him and see if we've got any on this end we might we shall see won't we all right we might have to get deeper in but let's go and clean them plugs up this was just a quick effort we might have to take this mag right off take all that out maybe put a condenser we will see all right let's get in the shed but it is getting dark now and we'll clean these plugs ah all right here we are man cables back in the shed with these two oh wow what's this here with these two military spark plugs here they be so what we need to do is see let's get these to pieces this one's a bit rusty look see that that is that is quite rusty look like there's been water in there but we will crank a bit of oil in them cylinders i've never had one of these to bits there should be a removable electrode there we are here we have a electrode which removes as klg electrode so i think what we've got to do is clean that with an inch of its life clean this with an inch of its life probably on the wire wheel because yeah i just like using wire wheels so we'll give all this i'm going to leave this original paint on here because i don't think this piece needs cleaning out that's just a holder i think so we're just going to clean this electrode clean this and we will be back ah all right here we are we have cleaned our plugs back up there we are don't they look a bit better? So we'll get these back together. Making sure we've got some form of correct gap in here. So we can just gap these plugs. Yeah. That isn't actually. Yep, there's two. Yeah, there's two gaps there. So when one gap sort of burn out, the other one will take over and such on and so forth. We don't need feeler gauges. We can see that right. So let's plus this one back together. And I'm afraid daylight has run out outside. And I'll be held if I'm going to be lifting that damned engine. In and out of this shed. This electrode has not gone in there right. What's going on here? There's a copper washer in there, but was there a copper washer in the other side? Has not noticed. All right. Oh, that one, that's better. That one's gone. Yep. This one's gone together pre-gapped as well. Let's check this other one. See if that's got that copper washer in there. It has, right down the bottom there. There is the copper washer, so... Excellent. Not going to bother unseating that. Marvellous how these go back together and they're perfectly damn gapped. Look at that. Now take my word for it, them gaps are pretty good. So yeah, and that other piece does go down. 
make a contact in there. What's stopping the spark from jumping from that from that internal post to the outside? What's stopping that? Must work, or else the military wouldn't have used them, would they? So there's our two spark plugs done. You've been introduced to the Norman T300. So I think in the next video, I'll have these plugs back in and we will see if we can get some form of spark out of that mag. But unfortunately, that's going to be it for today's little video. So there we are, man cavers. Hope you enjoyed this video. Come back next time when we do these little spark plugs. Put them back in. Try and get a spark out of this thing. And then if we do get a spark out of it, yeah. Well, we'll oil them cylinders up first. And if we do get a spark out of this thing, I think we're just going to throw some fuel in it and see if it runs. Don't you think we're going to touch the carb? Because it was kept inside and it looks pretty sort of cobwebby and dry. So we'll just hope. Right, that's it. Bye bye for now. Ah! Norman T300 Spark Plugs. <laughs>